You think that arcades have died out? Well, you're wrong. Arcade machines are no longer cumbersome, and now they come in compact boxes with new features, and they can be installed in apartments. This project is sold without hardware. It's a program for building and displaying games through a projector. So far, versions for Windows and Mac are available. Support for Android and iOS is planned to be added in the future. The best part is that everything that hangs on the walls and lies on the floor counts as elements of the game. Up to 10 people can play at the same time. The starter kit includes popular games like Pong, Arkanoid, as well as a racing game and a space shooter similar to Star Soldier. The price for this gaming system is $268. It's new, it's cool, it's fun, say the creators of this… uh, vehicle? Basically, it's a sub board that you ride like a bicycle, that is, by pedalling and using the handlebars. The board acts as the platform. If you want to, it transforms into an electric water scooter or into a training device. You just need to buy the appropriate parts. The bike frame weighs 8 kilograms and is designed to withstand saltwater environments, along with the rest of the components. You can also choose between a drop handlebar and a flat handlebar, and a propeller designed for workouts or for recreation. In addition, you can buy oars, an electric pump, and other useful accessories. According to the manufacturer, the average speed depends on the rider's physical fitness level, but it's usually a bit faster than a kayak. Prices range from $32 to $4,200. Here are some interesting facts about the M16 rifle. More than 8 million pieces were manufactured before 2011. It's been purchased by more than 80 countries, from Bahrain to North Korea, and has been in production since the 60s. No wonder many toy gun designers love it and try to create not just similar replicas, but fully functional copies. This particular M16 replica not only has a working bolt, but also a shell ejector. Additionally, the kit comes with a silencer and a sight. Assembly doesn't require any tools or special skills, just follow the illustrations in the manual. The safe soft bullets are great for children to play. However, the manufacturers don't recommend aiming at the head or the eyes. The overall length of the toy weapon is about 1 meter, and the price is $66. If you're more of a Robin Hood or Hawkeye fan, take a look at this bow. Its creators warn you right away that this is not a toy. The emphasis is on safety. The bow feels and shoots like a regular bow, but thanks to its patented arrows, the risk of damaging something or hurting someone is reduced. In addition, the arrows are flexible, and if you accidentally step on them or run them over with a bike, there are no consequences. The bow is 132 cm long, and the arrows are 74 cm long. The bow with three arrows costs 95 bucks. Almost anyone who picks up this bow will become a pro before they know it, the manufacturers add. Our fun parade continues with a product from Land Roller. It's almost like Land Rover, but it makes roller skates. They promise a better traction and less vibration, as well as superior control thanks to the unusual wheels. They have a diameter of 15 and 18 centimeters and are located at an angle of 30 degrees. Thanks to this, the skates are more stable than the usual ones, and the ride feels smoother, so the model is suitable for beginners. However, this is a version for fitness and recreation, so don't expect high speeds. On the other hand, even with all these new features, the skates weigh about 2 kilograms, just like any other model. The weight limit of the rider is 100 kilograms, and the skates are sold for $230 a pair.
is an interesting solution for people who would like to conquer the waves, but are not confident in their skills and vestibular system. This bodyboard is almost like a surfboard, only shorter, and for surfing lying down instead of standing up. The board is electric, and one charge ensures two hours of riding time. It has a 2.8-inch TFT color display that allows you to monitor battery status, temperature, and mode of operation. Its top speed is 2 meters per second. The bodyboard weighs a solid 18 kilograms, but can hold up to 150 kilograms. And given that it's also suitable for diving, the price of $2,400 does not seem excessive. Spider-Man Homecoming is the second Peter Parker film reboot, and with a budget of $175 million, it grossed over $880 million worldwide. And there were lots of merch, too. For example, this Nerf blaster inspired by the movie. To shoot one of the three Nerf bullets, you have to copy Spider-Man's web throw technique. An extra clip can be fastened to your belt for a quick reload, so your opponents don't stand much of a chance. The only downside is that it doesn't come with a spider sense function. But what did you expect for 20 bucks? In terms of fun, the designers of the previous SUP board could argue with the creators of an improved version of Whack-A-Mole. The rules are as follows. The moles emerge chaotically from the holes and grab the balls, which the hunter must protect. To do this, the user is provided with an inflatable hammer to hit the heads of the insolent moles. And now, the important part. The game takes place on a 4x4x2-meter bouncy platform. It's sold for $2,400, and it comes with a pump, helmets, fasteners, and a manual. Whether the chance to fight against seven moles or be one of them is worth the money is up to you to decide. The world record for stone skipping using regular stones is 88 skips. Fortunately, the participants of this game won't have to work so hard, because its creators have come up with a new set of rules where scoring is based not on the number of skips, but on earning points. Just throw the special projectile and try to hit one of the holes in the target. Depending on their accuracy, the player gets 1 to 5 points. In order to win, you need to score 11 or 21 points. Up to four people can play, and the set includes eight projectiles, two targets, and several carrying bags. You'll have to pay $60 if you want to try this product. About $1,000 for a radio-controlled model boat? That's a quarter of the price of a fully-fledged electric car. However, there are many interested buyers, because the characteristics of the models are impressive. Gas or electric engines, allowing acceleration over 55 km per hour, a length of about 0.8 to 1.2 meters. In many cases, the models are licensed copies of real racing boats, so you can even put them on display and composite fiberglass, water-cooled systems, handcrafted details, and other awesome features. Beginners can choose the already assembled and tuned models, while pros can enjoy the customization options, upgrading the propellers and the engines. And of course, the races themselves can bring a lot of emotions to both children and adults. Fun fact, some of Hot Wheels' rarest cars are sold at auctions for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And to keep up with modern technology, Hot Wheels have come up with these sets for racing in augmented reality. The starter kit includes two radio-controlled cars and four control points in the form of gates. One charge is enough for two hours of play. 
and the augmented reality mode allows you to change the design of the cars. About 140 options are available, plus a choice of colors. Choose the mode. Complete challenges like destroying monsters or making stunts. Or race alone, in turns on one car or all at once on four cars. To enjoy this game, you'll need a PS4, a PS5, an iPhone or an iPad, as well as $130. Do you become a worthy successor to Phil Collins without driving your neighbors crazy and damaging their eardrums? You only have to spend 80 bucks. That's what they charge for a set called Free Drum 2. It consists of four sensors, two on the drumsticks and two on the feet, as well as a subscription to a special app. Run it on iOS, Android and Mac OS or Windows device, connect the sensors and enjoy the virtual drum kit. The second version of Free Drum brings some exciting new features, such as haptic feedback and the possibility to play with your feet without heel support. And after training, as before, the app will visually show your progress, give you advice, and even evaluate how accurate you are with tempo. Thank you.